Welcome back everybody, my name is Drake Gagan, and this is Greg Tech New Horizons. So, if you can see it just peeking out over there, you'll notice that I have kind of jury-rigged my EBF into my Steam setup. Um, I could really use a fourth one of these guys, and then, I don't know, three more up over here. I just haven't gotten that far yet, uh, simply because I don't need to run it all yet. But I did manually run this guy, and I got my eight aluminum ingots. That should put me squarely into opening up the MV line. Let's see. That is the end of getting ready for Tier 3. And then it wants magic progression first. Ah, okay. I guess I will have to do that. I could have swore... Oh, well, maybe it's just a checkbox. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, so I guess I will need to go in and progress in the magic line just a little bit. Um, the low voltage transformer, it may want me to build that uh, first simply because the low voltage transformer will be how I initially get four of these guys to up uh, to up charge from the LV to the MV and that'll be the first ways that uh, you can start to make the um, my first thing I'm going to make is the electrolyzer get the MV electrolyzer up and running so I can get more aluminum more quickly and then get some more aluminum together in order to uh, make the MV extruder and work from there. So one of the other things I did before I started recording is I made my thermionic fabricator after placing down my carpenter. So the carpenter is here. I use the fluid extractor to export down into it. As long as you manually connect the wire, it will draw from the GT power just fine, uh, charging itself up. There's all the components for it, and I had put the uh, work table here and uh, crafted the thermionic fabricator. Now it's just sitting here right now. It's not doing anything other than just staying there. Um, I've got it uh, you probably can't quite see it. I've got it connected. Uh, it is hooked up right now to the setup. Um, but uh, the biggest problem is going to be the fact that I have no power going into this thing. So if I need to use this thing, I've got to wrench these guys up. That's why I say I, I pretty much jury-rigged this thing uh, to try and get it up and running. So I'm going to work some more on figuring out what I need to do in order to unlock the MV tier. Um, I don't see any other quests other than the Transformer. Uh, it does have the LV Extruder um, as well as the uh, Sulfuric Fuels. Um, those I don't think are required to unlock MV. So I will uh, get working on this Low Voltage Transformer. Hopefully that doesn't take me too long and then from there we hopefully will be in MV. So I'll bring you back once I've got this guy prepped and ready. Let's see if we're right with that transformer. There are my tin cables, my copper cable. There is the low voltage transformer. And let's see what happens. So that stops that. And there it is, the MV machine hull, which is going to take and oddly enough, it needs nine aluminum plates, not eight, even though you ha it has you make eight. And then it wants a couple of copper cables and a couple of wrought iron plates. So I am going to uh, run away real quick. I'm going to need to macerate up one of these guys just so that I get a little bit more aluminum. I'll put it into my EBF, power it on, and then let's see here. Let's go ahead and while we have this guy... I'm going to need to switch this out. I, I'm still using one circuit here uh, in order to try and make the uh, uh, my chips last a little bit longer. So we'll get two of those guys. I'm still going to have to make the other nine and then the two cables, but that's all right. At least for right now, I can get this bit done so that we can start making our next piece. All right, I'm going to run away real quick, uh, wash this out, uh, get the EBF going, make this last piece of aluminum, and we'll be back to make our first initial machine hull. Are you ready? Because here we go. Move that guy out of the way and get our first 
MV machine casing done. Run it up here. Slap it in. And there is our first MV machine hull complete. Pop open the quest book, and it's going to give us a few options for what we want to start with. There's the, elect uh, the electrolyzer, the chemical reactor, medium voltage transformer, battery buffers, and that stuff is it. So the first thing that I want to go with is the advanced electrolyzer. That's going to take two silver wire, a piece of glass, a copper cable, and two of our good integrated circuits. I saved these guys from my last playthrough. I remembered that once you get the circuit assembler with the first two, the second two you definitely want to keep a hold of in order to use for this electrolyzer. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to make one set of cables here. I'm going to need one of those guys up in here for that. Um, I think, yeah, I have to come out here and get one piece of glass. I uh, smelted up a stack of it in here before, so I just have a ton of glass that's just sitting in there. Uh, using either for the panels or for uh, these pieces of glass here. Uh, since we don't have the MV arc furnace in order to just make glass straight from sand. So still have to do it the kind of a pain in the rear way. So here we go. Get this guy. Get a piece of glass there. Put away the chisel. And I'm going to need a couple silver. Um, I should have quite a bit of silver in here from... Uh, mining all these other ores, you do get silver as uh, small piles in the overworld. Uh, so that is nice to have there. Lots of dusts. There's just from a nether trip, all that dust. So yeah, it uh, works out pretty well. Uh, let's see here. Let's use the furnace real quick. Get these guys smelted up. There's one. And here's two. And let's slap one of those guys in there. And here we go. So I should be able to put in the wires, put in the glass, put in the covered cable, and there is our advanced electrolyzer. So that is going to go uh, quite a ways towards getting us the setup that we need. Um, realistically, the next stuff that I need to focus on, it's funny, I just built that electrolyzer not too long ago, and now we're building the MV1. I, that was like literally my almost last LV machine I made. Uh, and it was just so that I could get a couple of things out of it. Uh, and now we have the MV1, which is actually quite good for uh, getting our aluminum. I have... Uh, uh, where is it? I accidentally made too many piles of the ruby. Yeah, there it is. I made too much of the ruby dust when I made twice as much as I thought I needed in order to make these coils over here. Uh, so I can go ahead and take that along with this electrolyzer and get our hands on quite a bit of aluminum. But the next thing I need to do is I'm going to rehook this guy back up. And what I will do instead is I will be um, crafting up some of the redstone alloy and then getting that covered using the, uh, the assembler here uh, so that I can have four of these guy of those um, four of these steam turbines here and then I can run lossless power around where I need it to go. So that'll be extremely helpful for getting further in the future. Uh, so that is what we shall be looking at. I'll go ahead and take a break and get that stuff run around. Uh, this setup electrolyzer, that is essentially going to be now part of this part, the uh, air components, getting a water source, getting the electrolyzer, and starting to generate hydrogen and oxygen. I did these first couple of uh, aluminum without hydrogen uh, because there is a recipe for that um, but I will need hydrogen going forward along with my um, 
the chemical reactor in order to start doing some of the distillation of fuels and working on new power sources. Um, still think I'll use this guy, this setup for a while longer yet, and then uh, from there we'll start taking a look at a new power setup. So I'll see you back here in a bit. So I decided to do some flying around, kind of explore a little bit more of the map. Um, I found a nice, uh, what are they called? Um, yeah, lavender field all along here, a little bit of a highland, a rogue dungeon down over here. And then right up here was one of these uh, witches circles from witchery. And I happened to have popped open the dispenser, and inside the dispenser was this, a temple collar from the Hardcore Ender expansion. I guess that's something I'm going to have to research. Hopefully that isn't something immediately bad. Um, let's see if it has any information in here. Temple collar. Oh, I'm going to have to spin some stuff in order to figure it out. All right, let's take a look. Temple collar is an Eye of Ender infused with Dragon Essence. It can rarely be obtained in a Stronghold or Dungeon Tower. Before using the Temporal Collar, it has to be filled with energy, and then using it in the end with a Dragon Egg in the inventory teleports the player to a temple. Interesting. So that is something for the Hardcore Ender expansion. Um, yeah, that's definitely going to be worthwhile. I've also been killing some cows. Uh, you can see I've got two cow trophies. This is fantastic um, because with the cow trophies, you take an iron sword plus the cow trophy in the assembler and I get a stack of leather. So having two of those is going to get me the thousand or the thousand. Oh, thank goodness. It's not that the hundred leather in order to complete this portion of the animal farm quest. The raw beef isn't as hard to get. It's always been the leather that's been more difficult. So getting this is going to be huge for getting me the unstable induced matic. So anyway, back to exploring. We'll see you back in a bit.